Come, 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 come. Alright, let's do it. Boys? Fuck yeah. Go, 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 go. I'm jumping in. Push, 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 let's push, 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 push. go! Run in, boys, run in. Left, left. One dead. Howdy, howdy, everybody. My name is Mr. Hansen, and welcome back to The Hansen Show. Today, we are going over a new VR game that just released called Breachers. And should you buy Breachers? Overall, I think this is a really good game that everybody should check out. But you are here for the information, and I am here to give it. So don't forget to leave a like and enjoy the video. All right, to start this off, this game is fun. It is fun. I will give it that. It takes ideas from other games and really implements it into its own VR experience. That's really immersive. Just to start it off, the menu. The menu is so simply great. I mean, you walk in there and it just puts you right into the game, right into the feel of the game. This is a operations type of game. This is like CSGO. This is like Rainbow Six Siege. You're going to load up and load out. And once again, just hammering this home. It is very immersive. I have my Quest 2 and it's not even hooked up to my PC because, you know, broke boy here. But I, you know, I have the Quest 2 and it looks nice. It looks very immersive and it is very much optimized for anybody who wants to play it. Now, I did run into a little bit of server issues. Like I tried playing and it just said retry, retry, retry. So just turn it off and on and restart the game and you should be able to play if you're having that issue like I did. What I really enjoy about this game is the lobbies that it gives you. Like right when you join the game, the menu is an area, area you can walk around. When you're loading into a game, the lobby area is just a hangout spot for people to get ready for the match. You know, invite friends, uh, set up anything you have to set up. It's really, it's really for the player. Once you do start a game, it has a lot of things you've probably seen before. It has a buy phase. It has, you know, weapons, breaching, grapples. It gives you a lot of feelings of other games you may have played in the past, like Rainbow Six or CSGO. And honestly, I think this is a missed opportunity for CSGO or Rainbow Six. They should honestly go out of their way to buy Breachers just to promote it as their own VR title. But Breachers went ahead and did it themselves. They're not going to get in any trouble. This, you know, no one owns the uh, first person shooter copyright or anything. Now there are striking similarities, but the fact that they take from multiple games and then implement their own their, their own game mechanics, their own gun mechanics, because everything feels good. It feels snappy. It feels like it clips right into place. But like I said, some of those similarities are like the buy phase. The buy phase has got a lot of selection. You can start off with probably just a pistol and then, you know, make money throughout the game to upgrade your weapons and get, you know, attachments and gadgets just to go around the entire place in them up overall all the maps look great the breaching is great the grappling system is great everything about this game just kind of is a very well polished vr game you don't see this a lot in the vr commu community you get games that are kind of like they have one good gimmick about the game and that's the entire game this has a lot of great things about it. It looks nice. It has nice guns. It already has a fan base playing it. So it has all the great factors of a good game just from launch. And that doesn't happen a lot, especially with VR games. And I feel like we can go over a lot, but one of the things we should go over are the guns. The guns feel great. They shoot well. They have balanced recoil. You're not going to feel like right when you shoot, it's going to jack itself up into the air, but you do know you have to hold it stern and aim and look through the crosshair you know the entire game is built for the vr experience and that is what makes it fun there is teamwork involved i mean yeah you could try to go lone wolf the entire game but it is more fun if you work together like i said you're gonna have a, a lot of good times in this game so you may as well have good times with other people even if you don't know them you gotta unmute your mic as soon as you join a game but as soon as you do just conversate strategize think look left right up down left right ba select start now this is a game that requires a little bit of skill like most vr games you have to know how to aim and look and feel your environment out and this game is no different you can get lost on how well this environment is built for you you'll go into an office and pause just for one second because you're like oh yeah i'm in a vr game so far the community's just fine too i haven't had a single person start being real salty or start sweating real hard or anything if anything i've gotten more sweaty than other people have overall the game's just fun you'll find yourself having a lot of it and you'll probably make some new friends along the way just of it so you can have that rainbow six seeds csgo first person shooter in a vr game type of experience and if that's what you're looking for yes you should buy this game it's well worth the 30 dollars it is in whatever game store you buy it in i bought it in the MetaQuest 2 store and overall like i said it's optimized for the game i could barely tell that it it didn't even look like shit, even if it looked toned down 
I could tell that the game is supposed to look good even when it's been dulled down for my quest too. So I just wanted to thank everybody for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and a comment. My name is Mr. Hansen, and as always, keep burning.